So you've probably seen this structure, maybe on your way to work, passing Strathcona Park. Well, have you ever wondered who makes these things and how do they do it? Well, I have found the man who does it and we headed on over to Elmont to meet him. So Stephen, you're standing beside these two figures. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what they're doing here? <laughs> <laughs> these are two of uh, probably 12 figures to become part of a uh, sculpture in front of the City Hall in Regina. It'll likely be called Tawau, and it is to celebrate the uh, role that uh, immigration has played in the growth and strength of the city of Regina. The idea was to find uh, people in Regina that were descendant of immigrant communities or were themselves immigrants, and uh, finding a mix that represented the cultural matrix of what is Regina today and um, then casting them. You asked me about uh, the process. So we, we start with a live model <laughs> and we cover them with dental alginate and then from that we can make a wax of the person. The wax then gets encased into a ceramic shell and then we break all that ceramic shell away and we've got a face in bronze. So I'd like to introduce you to Dale Dunning owner and uh, operator of Lost and Foundry in the uh, outer reaches of beautiful downtown Elmont. And uh, Dale's a, a sculptor on his own, known far and wide, internationally in fact. Um, and uh, he's the guy making it happen. From this point, it will have all the remaining shell uh, removed. The gates, which are the feeding points for the bronze to go in, uh, cut off. Uh, the bronze sandblasted, ground down, uh, cleaned and, and basically uh, made ready uh, to be welded together as a full individual. And what are you hoping that people get from this project? I think they, what we really hope is that it is uh, accessible on a certain level. It's clearly representational in part. They'll wonder, of course, why these are just partial figures, and I'm sure some people will hate them, uh, at least for a while. But it offers them a point of engagement. They understand. It'll almost appear as if it's a cluster of people standing on a, a train platform, waiting for the next stage in the process of transition. The name of his current project is To Wow, which means welcome. So you never know, if you're in Ottawa and you see these sculptures, might be the work of Stephen Brathwaite. <laughs>